Hello and welcome to another episode of React WooCommerce theme with REST API. Uh, in this video, we are going to start building our checkout page for our React application. And uh, we'll first start off with upgrading our Next.js package to the latest version. So you go over here, you can see that you can upgrade uh, your next JS from 11 to 12 and currently we are set to if you take a look we have 11.1 uh, and react is also on the older version so what we're going to do is we're going to follow this it says install react and react dom latest version which I'll do that and then we'll need to install next JS version 12 Okay, so we're gonna do that as well. There you go. Perfect. And uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'll do npm npm update save to update my packages to the latest versions. All right, so once that is done, we're going to start building our checkout page. So first we'll go to our pages inside of the checkout. And uh, this is where we're going to start creating this checkout page. We'll say npm run dev and let it run. And um, apart from that, uh, this checkout page is gonna need the form, the checkout form where the user can fill up the information. Uh, we're also gonna need the list of all the countries because when the user puts the address, we don't expect the user to type the countries and states. So we're gonna need the countries and states. So in order for us to do that, we're going to pull that information from the REST API endpoint. What you're gonna to need to do is if you have been following along, you'll need to get the latest version of the Headless CMS plugin, which basically contains two endpoints for the REST API. One is the WPJSON, which gets countries, and you can get states also. The second one is the states with the country code. So this is what we're gonna get, so let's do that. So over here, I'm gonna repeat that. And this time I'll say countries, and the endpoint will be slightly different. So we'll say export const WooCommerce countries endpoint equals this whole thing okay and then it's going to be this that'll be for countries and we're also going to need the woocommerce states endpoint to get the states and that's going to be this so you just put states and remove this because we'll be using the query parameter after that okay Okay, once we have done that, we're going to want to pass these countries here. We'll say countries, if it's empty, then just pass the empty object, okay? And then over here, we're going to pull this countries. Countries, and we're going to pass the countries also. And then we're going to create a component inside of our source. Components, we'll create a folder called checkout and inside of checkout we'll create a file called checkout form okay and inside of that we're going to say const checkout form equals and we're going to have the countries data here and then inside of this I'll just say return empty for now and then export default checkout form okay that's uh, going to be our component and it's going to need the country's data so let's go ahead and pass that from here so now we'll say checkout form import checkout form from there and then checkout form country's data and we're going to pass the countries here. Okay, now uh, inside of this, if you just console out this country's data, let's see what we get. Okay, we are getting some errors here because we upgraded. So we need to first fix these errors. Uh, so we're getting the errors saying that post CSS plugin 
requires post CSS 8. So let's go ahead and fix those first. Package JSON. So we need to install the latest version of uh, tail uh, post CSS uh, and all of the dependencies. So I think the best thing to do is just reinstall these guys. Just come over here, put npm install hyphen D so that it's a uh, dev dependency and then install the Tailwind CSS, uh, post CSS and uh, the auto prefixer. So now we have the latest versions, which is above eight, so which is great. Now if I run the npm run dev, uh, now we don't have these errors. Okay, okay, moving on. So if I add the item to the cart, let's add a couple. Here we go. Now we have two items in the bag. Uh, let's click on the bag. Uh, we go into the cart page. We've already built that, so we'll directly go to the checkout. So the checkout currently takes, it to the, takes us to this checkout page. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and close this one. Okay, we have to mo change this endpoint because under countries we are pulling header and footer endpoint. We have to change that to WooCommerce countries endpoint here. So let's change that. It's going to refresh that. There we go. Now we have the billing countries, shipping countries, both. In case you've set the billing countries, we'll have that. Otherwise, we have the shipping countries. Okay, so you can see that we've got all of the countries. So rather than asking the user to manually type that, we have the list of these countries. And basis this country, these countries will be able to also pull the uh, states uh, depending on what the user has selected, and that's pretty useful. So we will see that when we build the form. Okay. All right. So we've got that so far. So so far we've got we've created the um, we've upgraded the next JS to the latest version. And we've also uh, pulled the country's information from the from that endpoint, the REST API endpoint. In the next video, we are going to continue creating our form, and we'll create all the fields that are required for the user to fill. Okay. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Uh, please follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imran H Sayed, and please start my repository to support my work. And um, feel free to give me. Super thanks uh, to, to support my work, to support my work and follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Query Tech. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye bye.